going live slowly. Awesome. All right, it we are live. live. Yep, we are live. Um, welcome to this week's wonderful, wonderful episode of Unicorn Chef. Um, as usual, I am Caitlin Kiska, the Gambling Bird. I am the guest host, and I am joined by one of my favorite people, basically in the entire world, who is Brie Barrier. Um, Brie and I are not just friends. Brie was a coworker of mine for the last year, basically. Um, my yeah. company, uh, we have Threat Intel housed with VM, and Brie is a vulnerability management goddess. She has been doing VM for over 10 years, besides the fact that she's fucking hilarious. Oh, the clock agrees. <laughs> time. It's time. It's time. Um, she's it's time. The fact that she's hilarious and wonderful, and she, she's just super helpful. And I've been looking forward to having this, um, having Brie on since I started guest hosting a couple months ago. Um, so Brie, did you want to introduce yourself really quick and talk about, um, if anyone wants to donate money tonight, who it will be going to and all that kind of stuff? Uh, let's see. Yeah. So like Caitlin said, I'm Brie. I've been doing vulnerability management since, uh, Tenable. If you remember, they had this really crappy interface, not actually a GUI. It was, it was great. Back when it was actually open source. Um, but yeah, today's charity is the Trevor Project, and I chose it because there's so much crap going in the, on in the world where it's just constantly attacking the LGBTQ youth, and the Trevor Project provides counseling services, legal assistance, multiple services for these people are, that are just constantly attacked, so I figured it would be a great charity to support. That's wonderful. And uh, what we're doing tonight on Unicorn Chef is also really awesome too. So tonight we are doing a St. Patrick's Day extravaganza. Um, we're making some really awesome food that Bree's an amazing, amazing cook. Uh, her Instagram and Twitter, uh, if you ever follow it, uh, it's fucking Bree, it's at the bottom here, has all of her cooking and it's spectacular. And one of the cool things too is that Bree traditionally um, doesn't have, she lit, Bree, I'm sorry, you live in the fucking sticks. You can't get yeah. instant out to Bree's house. <laughs> I've tried to send her one. So she cooks with stuff that almost anyone can get, which I like. Um, but before we get into what we're cooking tonight, Bree, tell us what you're drinking. Because she's Bree doesn't fuck around, and I love this about her. Okay, so. yeah. We don't fuck around. No. So <laughs> in honor of St. Patrick's Day, Murphy's. Oh, and what about some Jameson? So and I don't fact, have any... We should do a shot. I think we should. I'm going to start with a little of my favorite, which is Luna Azul tequila. Ooh, good choice. Get the party started. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Look at that. It's a sign. And now you're ready to buy more for the weekend. Exactly. I mean, I'll need more for tonight, I think. I don't know. I don't know. So, cheers. Cheers. Down the hatch. It burns. It One of the burns things my soul. Do, it warms my stomach. It warms my frosty, frosty, cold heart. And particular, so one of the best things, too, Brie has worked, since Brie worked with me, she knows work, Caitlin. Work Caitlin's like more bitchy than normal Caitlin. It's a little more intense. Um, so yeah, for getting kind of warming up the soul a little bit after a long day of work. So, all right, Brie, what are we cooking today? All right, so today we're gonna keep it pretty simple. It's gonna be a basic lamb burger. And we're also gonna be roasting some baby red potatoes because air fryers are the devil because they make noise. And we can't make noise, so we're gonna, Roast them in our oven, which is set to 350 already. All right. Perfect. Um, so the first oh. thing we're going to do before we get back to drinking is just to start. I love freeze potato recipe. So we have regular red skin potatoes, right? Yep. And they're covered with salt, salt, pepper, and olive oil, I think. And yep. is there anything else besides that? Uh, so on mine, I add a little bit of balsamic vinegar because okay. it helps, like, make it, give it a nice, awesome crust, which I really okay. love. Should and I yeah, actually, 
It is Leprechaun. Mike is right. And hello, Ten. Hey, waifu, waifu, waifu. Yeah. Hey, what's up, baby? But yeah, potatoes into the oven. Let's go. Now, before we get to the burger, can we talk about what we're doing with the potatoes afterwards? Because I love, I love this, and I've never actually done it this way. Yeah. So, okay. Basically, we're going to be cooking these potatoes until they get a nice, where you can squeeze them with, like, a set of tongs, and they bend in, and you can, like, crush them. But you want to have them a little bit crispy. So, after we're done with it, we are going to toss it in a little bit of cheese curds, basil, olive oil. And basically, and it's genius, and I can't believe I've never done this before. The hot potato is the hot potato is gonna um, mix in with all of this, and it's gonna make the cheese all melty, and that's gonna be something that I'm really looking forward to. So, yeah. And pro tip: when you're doing this, have your cheese out already so it can get to room temperature and melt quicker. Bree, would you say that the potatoes, when you squeeze them, they should be squishy like the balls of the sys admins when you make them cry by doing vulnerability management? I, th I think they should. Yeah, you know, basically, uh, I want it to, I, when I do it, I go, is this my enemy and are they feeling pain? So that's the perfect. Uh, yep, yeah. that's the perfect, uh, that's it. When you can feel that pop, it's perfect. All right. So that's when I know that my enemy will be feeling pain and my potato is perfectly cooked. Exactly. You get it. So one of the other things we're going to do too, I'm just going to do one really quick um, before we get into how we're making the burger. Um, my mom, who is basically like a unicorn chef, like guest, like permanent guest, um, she's going to come in and give us some Irish toast later. But she also made me, she printed out these jokes for me and they're wonderful. They're about men. And the it says the following may be offensive, but they are rather funny. So we're going to start with one. Should, which one should we do? Shall we do the... Let's see. You know, everybody needs a little bit of fruit before their um, main course. So maybe you something about banana. Bananas. Men are like bananas. The older they get, the less firm they are. <laughs> Darkness. This was printed out for me by my, for my 74-year-old mother, by the way. This is excellent. Um, so next we're going to get to the burgers. Do you want to give us like an overview of what we're doing with the burger before we get into like, we're going to give you probably the most like detailed overview of making a burger ever, which I'm excited about because I don't make them a lot. So, but what's the, what's the instructions burger? are down yeah. below also, but yes. for people that don't want to read. So what I've done already is we have chopped up garlic, um, a little bit of, uh, smoked pepper, um, basically all the seasonings I mentioned down below because I completely brain dumped them because brain doesn't want to work all the time, but they're in here. We have all our dry seasonings ready to go. And then we have our lamb, which is right here. And what I recommend is a third of a pound of lamb per person because it's going to shrink to about of a quarter pound after cooking. And okay. a quarter pound burger is just right place to me how do i what's like the we were talking earlier brie and i don't measure things i find it authoritarian and i don't like authoritarian measures on my cooking uh they can leave that shit elsewhere um what for what is like what is a third pound burger what does it look like what's the so a third pound burger burger so here we got a third pound of lamb right here ready to go I okay. just, I haven't shaped it yet because I don't want it. You don't want to over mix your lamb or any burger in general. You just want to get the seasonings incorporated enough where it's mixed throughout. But the more you handle a burger, the tougher and chewier it's going to be. And no one wants a chewy burger. No. Okay. Yeah. So pro tip number one, don't over mix the burger meat. So but exactly. let, me see, let me see the third though. So that's like a, is it like cell phone size? Is it like the size of a cell phone? Like what's the. I, so we have our Murphy's can. Okay. Okay. So half a Murphy's can. Okay. My, I have a can that's that size too. So half the size of this can. Okay. I know. And look at, 
Who knew alcohol could be so useful? Pro I tip, know. when you're cooking, drink alcohol. I, to me, I, I was going to ask you, because I think both of us are big fans of drinking while cooking. And it I think it enhances it. It enhances the experience. And I mean, yeah, for me, it does anyway. So. It brings out the flavors. And also, it makes you less scared of trying something new in your recipe. And it just makes it more enjoyable for me. I want to give like a whole thing. Like, yes, it brings out my femininity, my je ne sais quoi. It makes, gets me in touch with the divine. But now I'm like, no, it's just more fucking fun. So. Exactly. Okay. I see. Yeah. Justin realizes that apple, apple bacon jelly, delicious. And also got a drink while cooking. Bevy knows. This is how Bevy you know knows. Bevy was green before because Bree is watching the chat and is like so Johnny, uh, Jane on the spot with that. You are excellent with that. I love it. So. Hey. I am a Twitch affiliate who never streams. <laughs> this is why you're a Twitch affiliate because you're on. Oh, that's excellent. All right. So let me get a plate for myself because, right. So we're going to mix the two together. Yeah. I'm just going to put my um, burger in for now. And then I'm going to grab a small plate so I can just form it and have it ready to go while the pan heats up. Okay. One second. Ha. Huh. Is there a certain kind of oil we should be using? Um, I like to use, uh, for me, for the pan, I'm just going to use a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And then Simple, clean. Do we, want the, do we want the pan like super hot or like medium or what do we want? Medium? So I'm going to mix the burger first and then I'm going to heat the pan at medium okay. heat for about five minutes. Okay. So, all right, I'm going to mix my ingredients in with my here yep and you just want to incorporate the seasoning into the meat evenly okay. so i'm just going to give mine a coarse little rub and see like, yeah, you can see, I'm gonna show you here. It's not over mix, it's just where the seasoning is into the meat, but we haven't like made it super duper crazy. We got our garlic, we got our meat, we got our other seasonings all right here. And I'm just gonna form it now into a patty. Okay, and I yes, uh, even... Bevy, you could use butter also. Oh. Duck, fat. Duck, Duck fat. Duck fat. <gasps> duck fat. I fully re recommend duck fat, but like they said, not to recommend things that people don't have ready in their kitchen. So olive oil. We're doing olive oil today. Elbow cough. That's my brother. Like wow. Eric is, Eric's a vegan. So he, I don't know if he's elbow coughing about our, our making lamb burgers and talking about duck fat, but he could be. Okay. Hey, I'm going to eat duck tomorrow. I'm actually cooking duck for dinner. So, ha ah. Do you want to, Brie, that reminds me of a joke because duck fat is really expensive. Men are like bank machines. Once they withdraw, they lose interest. Woohoo! <laughs> Burn! I love it. <laughs> okay. So now is, I've got my dirty hand. I got my clean hand. I'm not cross contaminating. Do not worry, YouTube. And see, look at burger patty firm formed, kind of round. We you don't need to make it perfect. Like people use these patty presses, and I'm like, you're a nerd. Okay. So all right. Talk, so I don't grill. That's beautiful. All right, Brie makes a shit ton of burgers. Brie makes burgers of every type, shape, kind, topping. It's amazing if you watch on social media. I do not. So this is going to be interesting for me. I want to, before I get both hands dirty, I'm taking out, taking another set. Okay. So like, like, yeah, too much. Uh, that looks, uh, that looks almost like a half pound. And I want a third. Yeah. So maybe a little less than that. Okay. Yeah. That, that looks good. That looks like the right size to me. And you know what? You have your beer from your can. I'm going to put mine in the glass. And in honor of destiny, 
the greatest video game ever. It's going in an iron banner glass because yeah. Drinking it from a can. I ain't no creeding. Okay, is this my brother's being cheeky? He goes, uh <laughs> yes, Eric might be dabbing. Uh, because he thinks that Vladimir Lenin, who I don't think is a pro is that a person? I don't know. Probably, but is this the size I want? I think it's the size. You know what? That's a little fat, but I like it. I like I'm it. Take, I'm gonna take a little out. You can always just go with what you feel. But yeah. That's, I like it a little fat. Does don't we all like it a little fat? Yeah, exactly. Now just like Smooth it out, get like the top and bottom level. And if you want, even get the middle a little indented. So then when it rises and puffs, it keeps it more level. But I have another trick for that later. Yes, and once please. you're all firm. Yeah, once oh. you have it all formed, we're going to just uh, go ahead and start preheating our pan. What were you saying about firmness, Bree? Oh, I don't know. Can you like help me? get inspired with firmness. It reminds me of a joke. Men are like snowstorms. You never know when they're coming, how many inches you're going to get or how long it's going to last. Ho ho. <laughs> I like how we're just like getting all of the jokes off of pre-printed because yeah. why not? Why, why, why reinvent perfection when it's no, already it's there? Okay. I think I've got this. I think I got the size I want. Champagne on crab legs. Eric doesn't eat crab legs. That's hard. My, my you know brother's just, I, But champagne and crab could be delicious, yes. I mean, yeah, because he could make it like a... Yeah, he could actually reduce the champagne into a really nice sauce if you add some butter to that. Pro tip. I like that. Hey, guess what? So am I, Justin... Or Ooh. just shin, just shin. And we're the single club. We will cook for you afterwards. And I'll kick your ass at video games. Two things I can do. So I think I put yeah. meat. I have too much meat, which is not a bad problem. I mean, problem to have. you can't go wrong with extra meat. I'm just saying for myself, I only need a third of a pound because... The more I eat, the more I have to run tomorrow. And I already run every freaking day. Okay. So, Brie, give them the running. Because, Brie, this is one of the... I'm not going to lie. It's strangely impressive because, like, you're not a high school track athlete. Brie runs, like, literally like a high school track athlete every day. And give give us the... Because it's, it's impressive. Give, give us the primer. I love this about you, actually. So, um, I used to weigh 380 pounds. Yeah, weird, huh? Yeah, crazy, huh? And, oh, my God, I love Tenables. I actually just threw out all of my Crapid 7 products and switched oh. to Tenable. Okay, also, for anyone who's in information security here, we're going to dunk, after probably one more drink, we're about to dunk on Rapid 7, Crapid 7, super fucking hard. Like, super hard. That might as well be like I mean, the name of this show. So. I, need a, I need to sue them for false advertising because their log for j detections were not rapid. It took them a fucking month. First string check. First string check. But yeah, so yeah, I run every day. Every freaking day. Because yeah, I have no life. Did you know that both men and rapid seven are like laxatives? Oh, you're getting hit up in the chat. I like this. But both men and Rapid7 are like laxatives. They irritate the shit out of you. <laughs> Sorry. I know. I don't do the PMing. You hit me up on Twitter because that's how it's done. Slide into the DMs. Slide into those DMs. Maybe you can slide into something else. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. The slide into the DMs in the Twitter. It's right um, there. So do I want to have like a... I want to have an indent in the middle of the burger. Yeah, because when it starts heating up, that's going to rise, and you want you to have your burger turn into a meatball. Okay. 
Oh gosh, yeah, I want that. I want that crab recipe also. So hook it up, Eric. I need it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna post it on Twitter too when I do it. So just so I can show the world of how good it is because I'm a fucking rocket. Hook it up. Who doesn't Give me like that recipe? Yeah. Oh, is that the champagne and crab, or Erica? It's just two emojis: champagne and crab. Simple. That, that's the way you do simple things. You don't need too much, just champagne and crab. And I actually have crab in my fridge because I was going to do that this weekend. But for you, I'm going to do it sooner. Friday. Oh, are you talking about doing things, Brie? Oh, why? Do you have something in reference for that? Uh, hold on. Yes. Men are like department stores. Their clothes should always be half off. I, that didn't work as well. <laughs> that I did. mean, I tried. I tried. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. I accept this. It's it's wrong and dirty, but I accept it. Okay, one second. Let me wash my hands, and then we'll get to the the actual cooking of the burger. We'll get to the cooking of the burger. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start heating my pan, so you can also just put at like a medium heat, and we're just gonna let it start heating up. Bam, look at that. I'm a pro cook. I turned on a stove top. You are a pro cook, though. I mean, that's the whole thing. You're excellent. Yeah, look at that. And look at Iron Banner. Okay. Hey, speaking of Iron Banner, if anybody wants to join me in Iron Banner, like um, probably Friday night, I'm being really drunk and killing things. It's going to be good. Hit me up. What is Iron Banner? Is this really painful mode in Destiny 2 where you either love it or you hate it? I like it because all the terrible PvP players come and join in and I just slay on them. It's fun. Do you just, I think you slay on anyone every way. Do you just like, that's, I think you slay on everybody all the time. That's like, that's why you're Brie. Brie doesn't fuck around. That's what we were discussing before. This Brie doesn't fuck around. Except in my Twitter name because I'm fucking Brie. So I'm kind of fucking. Just a pinch of fucking, fucking, just a, a dab pinch of fucking. fucking, just like that little. Okay. Let me make sure I have all my things. So I have my burgers, burgers. Hello. Is this okay? Those are good. I like it. I have my buns. I have my, I have, have my buns. Um, I have, um, what else do I need? I can't get oh, my butt up that high. I don't think I need anything else right now, right? No, we're good. We're just letting our pan heat up. Okay. In about, eh, once our pan gets hot and we put our burger on, we're going to put our buns in the oven so they can just toast. And we're going to shake our potatoes because you got to shake the potatoes. So they shake can... the potato? <laughs> yeah, you got to just shake it around, you know. I like being silly with you. This is why you're my friend, so... I okay. know, like, this is why we work together, because we're like a team. So the best thing ever, though, is and for people who don't know, who haven't worked with Bree and I, is like, Bree and I are very silly and having a great time. But if, like, you're working with Bree and I and we need you to fix something, we're like, suck now. <laughs> like, <laughs> crazy people. And that's okay. That's okay, actually. So Yeah, no, really really like, if you piss me off and I need something done, I'm like, can you fix this? They go, no. I'm like, can you please? No. You will fix this now, fucker. And then, and then magically gets fixed. Like, I had a problem with the domain controller today. It couldn't get patched. It couldn't get patched. And then I went in bitch mode and then it got patched. I just think as a woman, you have to be like, I don't call it bitch mode. I'm just saying I, I'm being firm like my counterparts, you know, who, again, are not are sometimes like bananas. They're not always firm, but I, I will make up for it. So that's okay. Okay. Warm pants. Hey, you know, sometimes you just got to give that firm guidance, you know. Firm guidance? Oh, do we have another joke to this? Firm guidance. Let's see. Men are like, no. I am the exorcist. I'm the devil. 
You can't get rid of me. Firm. This isn't. This isn't really apply to firm guidance. Oh, I like this one. Men are like lawnmowers. If you're not pushing one around, then you're riding it. Firm guidance. <laughs> so. Really, I love that one. One That's more. About, can I do one more about firm guidance? Like I forgot that this is the best. This was my favorite one actually. Men are like cement. After getting laid, they take a long time to get hard. <laughs> so. All right, so go ahead and put your hand over your pen and just feel how warm it is. Are we it's, almost burger time? I'm warm. I'm. I'm. It's mine is ready. I think. Yeah, I think mine is too. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just grab my salt and pepper real quick and put it on half of the burger, and then I'm gonna put that burger that I salt and peppered down. Okay. So you want the salt and pepper side to down? Okay. Why? Why is this? Well, because the salt, it's going to give it a nice little crust and also flavor. You got to add flavor. What side do I start with? Do I start with the, because, you know, we, we made the indent. Do we put the indent? On yeah. Side? Down. Indent down. Okay. Oh, we have a guest coming. A guest coming. Yes. Hello, everyone. I have an Irish toast for you while Caitlin makes an indent in her burgers. <laughs> This is an Irish toast, lift your glass. It's better to spend money like there's no tomorrow than to spend tonight like there's no money. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> An Irish leprechaun has came and toast and blessed us all. Oh, and Justin, <laughs> your cat tweeted me. I love it. I love cats. I actually have two cats. My black cat, Mocha, she is an asshole. And then her brother, Bubba, he's a fat Dum dum, but he's a lovable dum dum, and they're both my little children. Now, I, can I do so I can do two at a time for maximum control. Is that okay? Can I do two at a time? Yeah, like no. If you have room in your pan, add as much as you can fit in the pan. Okay. This, by the way, is Caitlin's favorite pan. She swears by this all clad. It's been with her all over the world. Yes, I've traveled with the pan. I love it. With me, two different countries. Because I'm crazy. And this is my favorite pan, cast iron. Now, tell me about the cast iron and why you like, because here's what we were discussing. You don't have to grill to do burgers. You can do it in your house, in a pan, all the time. And that's how you prefer to do burgers, right, Bree? I actually prefer to do most of my cooking in my cast iron because, one, you don't clean cast iron. It doesn't get soap on it. You don't put your cast iron in soap. If you soap and water your cast iron ever, I disown the person. You ruined your pan. Two, two it cooks so evenly. Like, it heats evenly, retains heat. It's a nice, crisp, like, layer of flavor. I like to call it the layer of flavor. So yeah, notice this better than any other pan. All right. I, let's throw when it in. I, when do I flip? When do I flip? Um, I'm going to flip mine after about probably three minutes because I like mine a nice medium rare. I think my pan was too hot. So like, I'm going to, I'm going to flip one of them at least. One of them is too hot. Yeah. Um, basically, Go with what you feel. But I'm going to go after three minutes because I know my pen and I know my cook time. All right. So also pro trick. Yes. If when program. you're cooking your burger and it starts to get like puffy and starts like misshaping, like turning into like a meatball, yeah. poke some holes into the top of it with a fork to okay. allow the steam to escape and then it'll flatten back out again. No, Eric. Don't listen to Eric. Anybody, if you put your cast iron in a dishwasher, I will hate you. Eric just hates people because he doesn't eat meat. You know what, Eric? I'm going to eat this burger in your honor. Now, 
I see sometimes when I watch the television, people press. They press with the burger with this. Do I want to do this? Is this a bad mo a bad move? I Is don't like doing that, that because it's gonna squeeze the juices out. Okay. Like if you can avoid squishing it with your spatula, avoid okay. it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. But yeah, now that we have our burgers in, we also want to get our bun in. So bun into oven. I have a nice potato bun. I got a fun fact. Okay, so hold on. I gotta put my buns in the oven. But so I, I just boop, 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 just top on the top. You know, Eric, Eric, I like that. Yes, this is very extravagant. Yeah. This is That's gonna make you have a nice fancy flavor. Fancy. But yeah, I'm gonna throw my bun in and just give it a nice little toast into the oven. Let's go. Oh, and I'm going to shake my potatoes, too, because they need rotated. Yeah, and I'm too lazy to use a spatula, so look at that. Shake. Look at the rotating. That you or me? Now that is me. I just cranked my temperature up to about 375. Oh, okay. I wanted more fire. So now I need another, I need another plate, sorry. I actually have a second plate ready for my burger to rest it when it comes out. We are doing good over here and I like the indent, the indent is nice. Exactly, it's gonna keep it from meatballing, and if it does meatball, that's what we have our fork for. No meatballs, one. we want burgers. I have one that's meatballing. Oh yeah, my burger is cooking nicely. Burger shot because I didn't have time to set up multiple cameras today because I'm lazy. That looks really good. Yeah. I actually have my um, MacBook right now sitting on top of a case of beer. I figured it was fitting. Mine is on my Sam's books because I'm a cybersecurity nerd. Oh, sorry, burps, burps. Hey, Justin has a point. I like that. So, yeah, my tail feathers, I just shook them a little bit. You know, I haven't seen the Blues Brothers movie in forever. That's another one I need to see. It's fun. I like to do so this. Yeah. But no, tomorrow, all about Boondog Saints. That's the movie. Watching it. Boondog if Saints. You're Let's go. Chat, if you're in the chat, we would love to know. Oh, my buns. My buns have to go in. If you're in the chat, we would love to know what you're doing on St. Patrick's Day and if you're doing anything fun. Yeah. If wants to put it in the oven. Like, is Bevy doing a special St. Patrick's Day screen? Are you Bevy? Yeah, tell me. I demand Irish everything tomorrow if you are. Boondock. Thanks. You don't, if you don't know what that, uh, what? Boone Dog? Nah, the Willem Dafoe movie. Willem Dafoe. We discussed earlier that a Willem couple Dafoe. Irish dudes that kick ass. A beautiful, a beautiful man. We were discussing earlier that Willem Dafoe is a beautiful man. And we would both like, if Bree and I are friends, but if Willem Dafoe walked into a bar, we would not be friends anymore. Well, no, we can share them. I don't share. I, I, I don't share. I'm sorry. I would fight to the death with you over Willem Dafoe. So as much well, as I like... what? I work out every day, you know, so this is going to win this fight. You would beat the shit out of me. Let's, let's be frank. You would beat the shit out of me. The only, like, plus I would have is I'm so short, I would just bite you in the, the chin. So, that, yeah. 
That's why I got golf. Well, shoes. yeah, but that just means I can kick you easier because I can't lift my legs really high, so I can just try to kick you in the head when you try to do that. Alright. Buns are going in the oven. Alright, buns are in the oven. Good. We have and a fan I'm gonna flip my burger. Head. We have a fan of your cooking head. I like it. And what is going on, Method 1? I'm going to flip my burger now. This is ready for flipping. Oh, look at that. So here, I'll show you how it looks like on one side. So you can see, like, the color. Let me see. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. All right, that's it. And now I'm going to grab my brie. And guess what? On this burger, it's the only time you're going to see brie top anything. Because it ain't going to happen. Ba bang! Hello. Nailed it. That was a very, very good joke, actually. I like it. I like it too. It was dark. So now, as we're getting our burgers finished, mine are doing pretty good. They need a little bit more. Um, do you want to tell them, Brie, about how we're going to top the burgers and what we're going to do to make the burgers like our St. Patty's Day feast deliciousness and all that kind of stuff? So yeah, on the burger, we've also prepared a nice little cabbage slaw. So this cabbage slaw, I kept mine pretty simple. We have a red cabbage, some green cabbage, some little Brussels sprouts, because I feel like adding it. It wasn't on the ingredient list down below, but I wanted it for color, because green, red, good stuff. And in there, I have just a little bit, a tiny bit of fish sauce. A little bit of um, sweetener, just keeping it simple, nothing too fancy. And I've been letting it sit for about two hours now. Now, this is gonna be a nice little flaw on top of the burger. For people who are weird about fish sauce, don't be. The, the fish sauce made it. The fish sauce actually made it. In my opinion, it made it really, really good. Yeah, it adds a little bit of umami flavor. And if you don't, if you're like. Oh my god, I can't have this sauce. I, just, I hate it, I hate it. Well then just use a little pinch of salt. And quit being a baby. Oh yeah, this burger is almost done. It's about time to rest it. How's yours looking? Okay, one minute. I'm just gonna keep my potatoes going the whole time while you're cooking. Because my potatoes could use a little bit. Ooh. They're okay, but they're too fat. I made them too fat. That's what she said. Did he oh, poke them? Did yeah. he give them a little pokey pokey? I did, but no, it's my, it was my um, shaping system. I should have made them flatter. So, yeah. But that's okay. I'm happy with these. I mean, there's not, it, it'll be good. It'll be good. Yo, I want that. I want that potato gun. That's fucking awesome. But yeah, those burgers look fine. They're just big chunkers. And you know what? Who, who, who can hate on a big, delicious burger? If you if you don't like a kind of like slightly, slightly curvy chunker, then you shouldn't be on, walking, talking to me on the show. That's all I gotta say. So. Like, this meal isn't designed to be like petite and small. It's supposed to be for you to enjoy yourself. Yes. And that's what we're doing. Okay. So, I've got... Hey, I just realized something. I'm actually drinking this beer really slowly, but it's quicker than Rapid 7 can do anything, because they fucking suck. I think you could probably re-architect and remake an entire product in the time that it would take Rapid 7 to come out with one vulnerability test. <laughs> so, I could and I won't be going to do it again. So, hey, I heard they just came out with a February detection. It's March, but you know, we're going to go on February now. I enjoy that all we had tonight is just so to not seven zero. It's kind of my favorite thing ever to be honest with you. All right. So, my burger, I am pulling it and was going to set it on this plate. Okay. Okay. Well, I gotta cut my brie cheese. I gotta cut my brie cheese. You gotta get your brie and you gotta top it. You gotta top your brie. Top, or put the brie on top. Yeah. I'm gonna check my potatoes. 
All right, now, a lot of people are like, we need bacon. We need bacon. No, we are doing bacon today. Today, we are doing corned beef, and we're just going to take a little slice of corned beef, heat it up, and it's going to grate on top of the burger. Actually, we're going to put it on the bottom of the burger, but we're going to pretend it's on the top. But no, corned beef. It's going to go on the okay. bottom. So... Look at this. This is corned beef from Trader Joe's. You can't see it, but it's beautiful. Oh, that's, that's beautiful slices. It was, well, I sliced. I sliced it. That was me. That was me. And uh, tens of thousands of dollars of culinary school of slicing. But, okay. So, burgers are going. I, I put my brie cheese. Yeah, come on. Like, this is the only time you get to have brie top anything. Okay. It ain't going to happen ever again. Burgers are resting. Okay. Question. Because again, I am a burger noob. Do we need to, um, do the burgers need to rest before you serve them? How does this work? You want to let them rest about five minutes. Okay. Why? Because if you just like bite into them instantly, it's going to shoot juices everywhere and make a mess. It's going to be not good. Not good. Right. And now I'm going to pull my bun out because my bun is now nice. And toasty, Girl, and not burnt. Nice. Look at hot buns. Oh, yeah. My buns need a My buns need But, yeah, we're just going to leave our potatoes in until we're ready to plate. Because we're going to throw them at the last second of those cheese and let it melt away. But I want the cheese on the burger right now, right? So the cheese can melt and stuff. Oh, yeah. Cheese on the burger now. Okay. Chop, chop, potatoes and cheese at the end. I'm going to get a plate for plating. Oh, God, God, taste so it. I'm, you got to taste it. Like, it could be poisoned. I, Your brother could be trying to poison you because I he know. doesn't want you to enjoy delicious lamb. Or cheese. He's vegan. He's full vegan. Exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a violent person. Okay, but yeah, on my bun, I got a little bit of um maple, bacon, onion, jam that I heated up just slightly. And I'm going to use that to give it a little different, awesome flavor because mayonnaise is overrated. And you don't put mayonnaise, ketchup, or mustard with a lamb. If you do that, I don't know who you are. Your wife and my kid are also short. Think about that, bra. I'm very short. I, I, I'm so I'm so confused. Being yeah, short, I'm uh, I'm five seven, so I'm like a giant compared to you. Fear but, me. So that's the funny thing is because I'm five foot tall. And so, like, everyone in my family, for like, when we say someone's tall, this is, like, I, I've said this before, like, people are, like, oh, like, I'm, like, oh, yes, our, you know, tall people, they're, like, that's not a big feat for your family. I'm, like, no, it's not really, <laughs> so. I am, too, five foot seven. Come on, Mike. I am, I am ferocious. Ketchup is, ketchup on lamb. Okay, can we get can we get Mike thrown off co-hosting forever? Like, here's what I will say. I think that I'm a, I'm actually a huge believer in this. That food is whatever you want, and if it makes you happy, I don't give a shit what the fuck it is. Like, I don't care. My I like just eat what you want. You know. All right, I agree with this. We'll go with fuck it. I'm letting it slide because Caitlin has the logic, and we respect her. Thank you. Now, if it was from someone else, yeah, you, you'd be gone by now. All right, so we have toasted buns. And then I got chocolate. Toasted beans. buns. Toasted buns, as they should. Hot, hot buns. Um, see, baby knows. Baby knows. I'm going to eat one of these potatoes and see. I want them, like, I like my potato a little more browned on the outside. But I think it should be okay. How is it? 
Oh, hot. It's hot. Oh, hot. So hot is good. So I'm going to go ahead and pull mine out just a little bit. Oh, my gosh. I just gave my glasses. I'm blind. The power of being a nerd, you see your glasses when you open up the oven. Oh, my potatoes are seasoned really well. They need like five more minutes though. Yes. See that? Oh, there you go. That's a squish. But yeah, I'm going to let mine go five more minutes just for a little crispy because you're doing it, so why not? Oh, it's Mikey's family that's good. That's good. These are, these are good things. These are great things. Do you have your... um? Do you have your corned beef in? Was the corned beef supposed to be in the oven? No, you just like give it a little quick little bang in the pan. Okay. Just to get heat because like you don't want to put like cold meat with your hot meat. No one wants cold meat. They only want the hot meat. Come on now. Zing. Oh, Eric. Yeah. All those seasonings sound really good. And actually, I think I actually have. Da -da 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 -da. Why, yes, I do have your fancy herbs. Good choice. Free tramp. Hey, I'm not tramp. Okay, I might be. It's 2022, nothing wrong with being a tramp. Nothing wrong with being a tramp at all. I'm, I definitely Exactly. Am. Why hate it got to hate? Like, gosh. All right, I'm going to put my corned beef and I'm going to put it on the bottom of my bone because it is ready. Is it's got a nice little crispiness to it. Yeah. Oh. I really like posting it in the pan, actually. I think that's a, a really nice idea. I think that's a great idea. It's like a big, giant, beefy bacon. I call it beefy bacon. It's a Canadian bacon. You know, there you go. And it also fits the holiday. Like, that's why we have our cabbage, we got our lamb, we got our corned beef. Hell yeah. And red potatoes, because... Why not? Why not? That's what I'm actually most excited for, is the potatoes. Okay, so those are going. This is crisping. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the potatoes out right as I'm done putting the lamb and that, or the lamb burger and the mix. That's what I think I'm going to do. That's going to be perfect. Yeah. And then you're going to dump those potatoes in with the cheese. And just let do this thing. And while we do this, I'm going to actually start cooking my uh, housemate's meal because she doesn't like lamb. So one of I actually have I another pen ready one of the to go I just for her. Ooh. What's that? Your so one of the things I love about you is that we've been talking now for like a year about cooking together. We're like, oh, we're going to cook together. And this is the first time we're cooking together. So. Indeed. But yeah, I'm just making my house made a quick uh, shrimp scampi. Bam. You want the, okay. How is this? Do you want the... You want the corned beef on the bottom. Yep. Corned beef is going to go on the bottom of the bun. Okay. And now I'm going to dump in all this for my housemate's meal into the pan. I did all the prep already because I'm lazy. And Always gotta look over your shoulder if your roommate's there when you're saying she can't cook. All right, so I'm gonna give like a preview, like a step by step, because I like this so far. So these are our. Oh, I'm a stupid person. <laughs> you just try to grab a. It's not that hot. I could have actually grabbed it if I really wanted to. This is the buns, the buns and the corned beef. And then we're gonna put the burger on top, right? Yep. And then does the slaw, where does the slaw go? So we got, here's our bottom. We're gonna put the uh, burger on here in a minute. Okay. And then the slaw on top of that. And then I'm gonna nail it with like a toothpick just to hold it together. 
because it's going to be a fat, delicious burger of doom. Okay. Hey, I am lazy because I did it ahead, so I could be doing this, Bevy. Excuse me, doing things ahead is not lazy, it's being prepared. It's being prepared. And that's also... Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm ultra prepared because, yeah, I was, like, I prepped everything at work, and now I am... Over 20 days ahead of schedule on decoming Rapid 7. Get out of my freaking environment, Rapid 7. This is why Brie and I are paid the big bucks because we are fucking prepared. <laughs> so, like, yes. Hi. It's my neck. Okay. Now I. But yeah. Now, okay. I continue. I continue my building. You got oh. this. I got this. Okay. So. But yeah. Wow, potatoes. So should I put the potato, the cheese in the bottom or the potatoes in the bottom? So we're gonna put the potatoes are in the bowl. And okay. we're gonna dump it the potatoes into the bowl and just start mixing it again and let it sit. Okay. Are we ready? All right, cool. I'll grab mine too. Hiya. Hiya. All right. Hello, bowl of cheese again. Oh, yes, yeah, sizzle. Melt the cheese. Get in there. Become friends. Burger of Doom. I love that name. Yes, I would eat there. Give this a little rotate. Letting the cheese and the potatoes become one. And the basil. Oh, yeah. And a little bit of olive oil to give it that little bit of fattiness extra. One of the things Bree said, too, is that, like, again, you want the tongs to squeeze the potato. So what's going on right now is as we're um, mixing everything, the potatoes are, like, kind of falling apart and it's really fucking nice. It's really nice. That's the shit right there. Yum, yum. Sorry, I'm fat singing, but. Oh no, a potato fell. Rip. Okay. 10 second rule, didn't fall. <laughs> Holy shit! The, I cannot. I'm gonna once I play. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna put the smell on yet. This is a very beautiful sight in my in my eyes. They're like too, they're a little fat, but like it's okay. It's okay. You know how like a baby should be fat. You want to come in, Mama? Whoa, it smells so good. And look at those little things. They are plus. Oh. These are small, plump things like my family. <laughs> so. Where's yeah. my toothpick? Toothpick, toothpick, where are oh, you? I am assuming my housemate hid my toothpicks from me. Oh, there they are. Ah. That's the bite. That's the bite. Oh, we need another mom joke. My mom. Mom's a mom joke. For no. the content. Mom, mom, gave, mom, do you have a joke? Do I have a joke? Yeah. I don't. You have a toast? I have a Give one of your toast, Mama. This is an Irish toast now. They have a funny sense of humor over there in Ireland. May you die in bed at 95 years, shot by a je jealous spouse. Oh, because you're fucking other people at 95. <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. It's hard to follow up that one. Okay. 
So, are we ready to play? I think I'm good. Can we put that. We put the slaw on top of the burger. Yep. Okay. That's what we're doing. Okay. How about um, Oh, and it's time for me to add this part of my housemate's recipe. I'm going to grab this from the fridge real quick. Hello. My shrimp. Yeah, see, look, I'm like making two meals at once. Shrimp and my, my mom just asked if it needs any ketchup. You have definitely... <laughs> You're, you're Why up. did you ruin? No, no. It's no. Pat. Ruined Pat. Ruined Pat. And then, as anyone I, knows, watch Unicorn Chef. I don't know how to take pictures at the end. We're all supposed to take pictures, and I don't know how to do so, that. So, yeah. But if anybody else, out there can screenshot it and then tweet it at us. No, mom, You'd be a hero. So you're supposed to take a picture when you hold the plate up. No, but not in the computer. In the computer. Yeah. yeah. But you can no, you can take a picture. Actually, that'd be kind of fun if you took a picture that way. My mom's gonna take a behind picture, actually. This is gonna be kind of fun. Okay. I got hair in my mouth, it's delicious. And then I need things. I am placing some potatoes. I don't need all them because I made a whole freaking thing. Oh of my potatoes. god, Bree. Oh my fucking god, look at this. Mm. Look at this. The cheese. Sorry. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. That's the one you want. Are we ready for a picture? No, hold on. Bree's got a plate. Bree's got a plate. Yeah. I oh. am ready. You ready? All right, so get mom get a picture from like the behind of us holding the plates up. All right, I got it. More get your finger out of there. Which finger? That one. All right. All right. Well, perfect. Thank you for joining us on Unicorn Chef. Um, so you could watching three dunk on Rapid Seven all evening and make jokes about men's uh, members. Um, and cookie burgers, everyone's been wonderful. Uh, hashtag Unicorn Chef if you guys ever want to follow along or pick along or uh, join us. And we can look. Are you good, Good night. Yeah, later. Thank you.